This video in South Korea that took place in 2017 has caused a mass controversy. A video that shows a busy restaurant and a man what it seems to be going through between few people. And a woman walks to enter a door and turns around. The woman confronts the man that passed by of S assault. This whole encounter was only a few seconds. She reports to the police and the man went on trial. I'll tell you guys the results after telling you all the facts of what happened in this case because it's actually not a simple case although the whole encounter was only 1.3 seconds. I'll share my opinion and what happened to me and possibly to a lot of females out there in the past. And because you're in a public open space or that because it happens only within one or two seconds, it doesn't mean that it can't happen. This video has split a lot of people in what they think and believe happened and who's telling the truth. And remember, a like in this video, subscribing, commenting your thoughts. These all help to reach the algorithm and allow me to continue growing Crazy TV so that we can talk about these topics. And there's going to be a new episode of my new podcast with my co-host Emma Bernier. She is a psychological astrologist. We will be diving into the astrology and what's going on in the stars recently because I have been going through some tough things in my life right now so go and check our the green tea podcast out and you guys to make me feel better i've been just kind of zoning out and playing some relaxing cheeky games thank you so much to love and pies for supporting and sponsoring crazy tv love and pies is the cutest baking game you guys that you'll ever play amelia green a newly divorced mom she leaves the city with her daughter kate to live in the countryside family cafe you're gonna be baking playing some puzzles and redecorating their cafe doing my little baking in the game and decorating the cafe you guys whenever you're in the train in the car if you're feeling a little down honestly i'm craving some pies right now just by playing this game it looks so good or if you want to get into that little cute cheeky moments this game is definitely for you it's filled with fun events rewards and great surprises graphics are homey cozy especially if you like the cottage core vibes yeah it's free to download i will have a qr code and a link down below and the best thing about this game there's no ads you need to watch Woo! Thank you so much to Love and Pies. Go and download for free. Let's get back to the video. So this incident took place on November 26, 2017 in Daejeon province in South Korea. There's a soup called Gomtang, and this is famous to be more of like a hejangguk or a hangover soup. So a lot of people after drinking, even like at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. in the mornings, we love to eat this. Now this video you're watching took place Sunday morning at 1 a.m. So people have been partying, drinking, and now they're getting their hangover over soup. There's obviously multiple groups and parties that came to the restaurant to eat and drink and in one of the groups, one of the men was named Mr. Choi. He was married, he was 38 years old at the time and I believe he was with his colleagues. She was part of another group of friends she came with and was staying in another room section. Now in this particular restaurant, it seems like there's like private party rooms and there's like the main hall. She said she was going to use the bathroom which was in the main hall. She left the room and now she was coming back to join back with her friends. Keep in mind that both parties, this man, Mr. Choi, and Miss A, they're strangers. They do not know each other. Now, Miss A went to the bathroom and now she's coming back from the main hall to enter back to the room and you could see her coming back here. That's when in split seconds, Mr. Choi is seen turning around right at the same time and passes by her. Miss A then quickly turns around and confronts the man. Now, the story goes that Miss A here is confronted confronting the man saying that Mr. Choi had grabbed her behind. The two parties start an argument where Mr. Choi is seen here firmly denying the whole thing. The argument gets louder and louder and the police are called and both are taken in for questioning. During the interrogation, Miss A testified saying, quote, the man had grabbed my right behind. I turned around right away and confronted him. He denied it and argument began. And this is Mr. Choi's version of the story during his first round of interrogation. I drank 15 glasses of liquor, I put my shoes on and turned around. There was no physical contact. Then he proceeded to say that maybe he just had like a tiny like little brush on the shoulder. That's it. Basically saying that it was pretty narrow, there were people around and he just brushed his shoulders and that's it. The police were able to get the CCTV footages by the restaurants and now they were able to analyze it and see what had happened. As police analyzed the videos, there were slight differences in details, especially with what Mr. Choi confessed. Five days later, Mr. Choi was called into questioning again and this time the police was like, 
wait a minute, he's not wearing any shoes. Which in the first confession, Mr. Choi said he had his shoes on. But in the footages, he hadn't wore his shoes and he just turned around. <clears throat> and it seemed like it wasn't just the shoulders that seemed to be touching Miss A. He then proceeded in the second round of questioning, quote, At first, I didn't think we had any physical encounter. But by accident, my hands might have touched her because it was a tight space and people were around there. I was just trying to get by, and maybe she got the wrong impression. Now let's analyze this video slow frame by frame, just as what the professionals have done. Now it doesn't seem like Mr. Choi is like following this woman or stalking her. It does seem like he was just facing outside to the main door, trying to put his shoe on and then leave. The only time he looks at her is that split second as he turns around, and there's literally like one or two seconds when he looks at the female. He passes by, and unfortunately, the actual like his right Right hand of where Miss A claims things happened is covered by this wooden frame. There is a second angle here, but also that is a little bit difficult to see as well. So you don't actually see the hand in action in the cameras, but the woman turns around very quickly. Like she's like startled. She's like, wait, what just happened? And just like goes and confronts him. And some say that, you know, why would a woman turn around like that if there was an inappropriate action taken? Now, again, the other part is that, well, it was there. Like he was going between this other man and the woman. So maybe he did kind of brush by accidentally. But the point that we have to try and figure out here was, was it accidental or was it intentional? Now, remember Miss A said that it wasn't just a brushing. Obviously, people know, I, I know the difference between somebody accidentally brushing by and as what she claims, he grabbed her right behind and lifted it. The professionals in this trial had to take a deeper dive and they actually created a 3D rendering of this restaurant to try and see if it was really that narrow. Unfortunately, this restaurant has closed down so they couldn't actually go to the location. But in this 3D rendering, it does show that it is possible that there was physical contact. Even a few seconds before, the lady also kind of has her hand slightly brushing by against somebody else's back due to being a tight space. So professionals claim that while it is true that it is possible to have any physical contact in this narrow space. Now, if you see the tape literally repeating multiple times, I think I saw this like 50 times by now, it, it's also not that narrow. Like you kind of see professionals actually agree that he's kind of like leaning to the right side to the lady just like slightly. And point two is we all know the difference between again, accidental brushing by and somebody actually doing this and walking away. The two even went through a lie detector test. And now lie detector tests cannot be used as evidence in court, but police do use it as kind of like a psychological test. And it showed that Miss A was telling the truth and Mr. Choi was being deceptive. The problem for the police and prosecutors was that Mr. Choi's statements changed. His details changed from the first to now the third interrogation. At first, he said that there was zero contact, no way. When he was shown the tape during the second interrogation, that's when he was like, oh, I mean, maybe I accidentally brushed by. The third interrogation, he said, yeah, maybe my hands did touch her, but it wasn't out of inappropriateness. It was by accident. Mr. Choi did firmly deny any wrongdoings, and he said that he was sorry if it happened by accident, but that he did not want to apologize because he didn't do it on purpose. Mr. Choi's side did offer Miss A $3,000 or about some ton manan, but he said he's not apologizing. So Miss A's lawyers and her side said, well, I don't need the money, I want an apology. And if there's no apology, there's no mediation. So they could not come to an agreement and this went to trial. After a few months of trial on September 2018, the final verdict came out. And the judges ruled that he was guilty. And that most likely in this case, the statements by the two parties were weighed heavily more than the CCTV video because that was actually very hard to determine because it could have gone both ways. And the judges actually did write that, well, Miss A, her claims never changed from the beginning. But Mr. Choi, his claims did change from the first until now. And even said that Miss A seemed more believable because how could she not be able to distinguish an 
accidental brushing versus inappropriate touching. This was a unique case because technically they didn't have physical evidence. You kind of had to really rely on people's statements. The judges also ruled that because it seemed like he had no intentions of apologizing, they did hit him with a harder sentence of six months in jail, two years of probation, 40 hours of S assault program. And only a day later, Mr. Choi's wife was angry. So she decided to go online and actually spread the video and have the entire public of South Korea determine what actually happened. After this video, there were two sides. So one side was saying that how could you take a victim's sole testimony and try to put somebody in jail? Like what if that was completely like a made up thing or somebody taking, you know, an accidental brushing into an inappropriate conduct and putting somebody in jail? That's too extreme. But at the same time, like how are you gonna, how, how do you get physical evidence for cases like this? It's not like she had had a CCTV video little camera behind her skirt, you know, it's, I mean, you can't really get physical evidence here. On the other side, people also argued and said, well, what is a time? Is there even a time when you can claim something as S assault inappropriate or not? I mean, is that like one second, two seconds, three seconds, one minute? And a lot of people were saying, well, even one second is not okay for somebody to inappropriately make you feel that way. Is, is there a need to be a time measurement that, you know, after three seconds, it's considered criminal and if it's under that it shouldn't be you know so that was something tricky that the judges also had to really decide i also forgot to mention that in the final sentencing report the judges do agree that it doesn't seem like a normal s assault case meaning somebody is going around stalking this lady that it did seem like because of the short amount of timing that it meant that it was more like out of a habit or a bad male instinct that he couldn't kind of like control himself at the moment kind of thing like it wasn't a normal stalking situation. Now there were some people arguing saying that well even if he did that within one second does that mean that he deserves six months in jail and two years probation? Like one second of bad behavior leads to this amount of jail time. What do you guys think? I think six months was a pretty equivalent sentencing. Six months in jail for touching somebody inappropriately that you don't even know, that's not your wife. Mr. Choi appealed the case and in April of 2019, the results of the appeal trial was the same and he was found guilty and then he appealed again so three appeals meaning it goes to the supreme court so three different trials by three different judges looking at the evidences and it showed that they also found him guilty that there was also a credible reason and no doubt that this man did do something inappropriate within that split one second, 1.3 seconds to be exact. Now, I personally don't like to always go into my conclusion, but I do think in a case like this, I do have to say what I believe personally happened. I honestly do believe that something did happen. And I mean, to have three judges, including the Supreme Court saying that this happened, there must be a reason why, right? Now I've told you guys some things that happened to me in the past, you know, again, I had the story of a K-pop boy singer he also inappropriately you know at a club this happened at a club and in korean clubs you guys i remember even in american club maybe i don't think it would happen now but especially you know when i was going to the clubs like yeah i would have guys brushing by but not brushing by like inappropriately brushing by and you could clearly tell the difference like there's no mistaking by accidentally brushing and somebody trying to actually feel you now my incidents with the k-pop boy group i think that was like end of 2016 or early 2017 that happened and it was at a club at a big public space basically anyone could come in and and there was a lot of people but just because there's a lot of people it doesn't mean that somebody d won't do anything inappropriate actually in those kind of places it happens very often and honestly i wish i could have spoke up even if it happened for one or two seconds because that's not okay and to teach somebody a lesson that just because it happens under three seconds it doesn't mean it's okay. My mom told me this story, you guys, when she was pregnant with me. When she was pregnant with me, she says that she was living in South Korea, she was coming home from work and it was rush hour and there was a man behind her and kind of did the same thing as this lady's story, touching my mom's behind. She clearly knew the difference and she says that she had like a newspaper with her because this was in the 90s. She rolled up the newspaper and when the man was leaving at the next station, she hit it. She hit him in the head with her newspaper. 
and he clearly didn't turn around because he clearly knew that he was guilty. So in my personal opinion, I think this lady quickly turned around because she knew the difference between regular and clearly inappropriate touching. But in any case, let's say he really didn't do it and everybody just took it wrong. Of course, that's very unfair and unjust, but he did say that he had 15 drinks. Like, that's a lot of drinking. So let me know what you guys have thought about today's case. Do you think 1.3 seconds of inappropriateness equal to six months of jail and two years probation, that that was too harsh of a sentence or too lenient of a sentence or the perfect sentencing amount? If it happened to you, would you let it go or would you have spoken up like this lady? What do you guys think? And remember to go and check out Love and Pies, the cute cozy games. Thank you for supporting Crazy TV and see you guys on my next video.